Hello, 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 hello there, citizens of the Hanseatic League, and welcome to the Frontiers. We are playing Urban Status 4 on the newest patch, and the Wealth of Nations is on, which means that we are up for some trading here in Europe and Status 4. It is Wealth of Nations, so lots of stuff has been changed. Maybe I'll actually make a video on what's new and um, what does the DLC add and what did the patch add in this new, new amazing almost completely changed game so <clears throat> let's dive in shall we I have uh, also another rule some kind of a challenge setup that we have that we'll have on that we'll have here uh, it works for idea groups so basically for this playthrough I will be only allowed to pick idea groups from this diplomatic ideas pool until I pick all five idea groups, I am not allowed to take any administrative idea groups on or military idea groups. <clears throat> and I think another restriction we should apply is as soon as we have five, we will, they will they will remain with three. And for these three, we will have to pick. Oh, look at that! This new innovative ideas have been changed. What was this idea? Oh, uh, think, 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 think. What was this idea? Uh, optimism, yeah. For my optimism, tolerant, tolerance. No, it was not tolerance. Ah, uh, what was it? Ah, I don't know. Well, anyway, we will pick plutocratic. We'll have to pick plutocratic and expansion ideas, as our uh. Sixth and seventh idea groups, and then after that, let's see what will we force ourselves to pick here. We will pick hmm, administrative sounds good, but as a trade republic, I think economic ideas just for more money sounds nice. Sounds nice. Also, innovative. No, no, no. we'll go innovative as our last idea group. Oh, well, maybe we'll pick this as our sixth. So we'll have to pick innovative for expansion and, and or plutocratic ideas in any order after we finish off all the diplomatic. So that's going to be our rules here. We have 69 ducats in our treasury, which is uh, symbolic, I uh, I have to say. Is this? Oh, 69.12. It would be funny if it was like just 69.00. Anyway, as a trade republic, we make most of our money from trade, mostly. <laughs> most of our money, mostly. Anyway. We are a merchant republic. We have plus, so that gives us plus one merchant, which we already have set up from the start. We also gain plus ten percent global trade power and merchant steering towards inland. Ah, oh, interesting, interesting, interesting. This is an inland. Okay, so these are inland trade nodes. This is a new. I. This is a new uh, trade node type. We are a part of empire. We, our primary is Hanoverian. As uh, the Hanseatic League, we are allied to these free cities, free imperial cities. We have trade disputes. Oh, the, look at that, there's a new icon for the CB. That's nice. Plus two reputation from being a member of HRE. We don't have, we have the Republican tradition instead of legitimacy. And I think we'll play towards the, the Republican uh, idea, ideals of not picking weird rulers. We are under control of Stadthalter, Stadthalter, Gottschalk, Amsink. Amsink, Amsink. No, it's, it's, I think it's Amsink. Not that good in German yet, but I'm trying to learn German. So yeah. This is Stadt, Stadthalter. Anyway, mm, our balance is good. We are making good money. Our force limit is 8 out of 11. We have we can build 5 more ships too. We have a huge naval force limit. New production to face. I still think buildings... It's better to, to construct buildings from the ledger. I, uh, I just don't see the point in using this. Still. We need to pick rivals. Let's see. Who could be a nice, weak rival to pick? 
what will be our immediate goal? Take a look at our missions, maybe, and the sound toll. Hmm. Confirm telesocracy. Oh yeah. Need to complete naval ID. Yeah, I think that's that's the one we were gonna go for. Yeah, telesocracy will be a telesocracy. Atler von Lübeck. I don't know, we could get a heavy ship for basically free and a bunch of modifiers. Wow. Lübeck Kantor. Uchte. Wow. Claire Stitchy. Oh, the Bob hates us. Hmm. Interesting. 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 What I'm also thinking is going reformed might be a good idea, as we are a trade nation and reform gets lots of bonuses for the trading uh, countries. And we could also test out the reformed further system. Uh, let's see how how long I've been, re been recording. Ah, uh, six minutes. Okay, good, 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 good. Sorry, I'm a little bit paranoid. I forgot to time the the beginning of this recording. So, all right, we need to get more rivals from this list, or we will not get any power projection. All right, too few rivals. Time to get a penalty on a power projection. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. I think it makes sense to pick a Denmark as our rival. I think it also makes sense to pick Bremen and Saxe-Lauenburg as our rivals. Bremen and Saxe-Lauenburg. Okay, good. So I think we should immediately break our alliance with you and go for an alliance with Lüneburg. Where's Lüneburg? There's Lüneburg. We have an alliance? Yeah, we do have an alliance. Okay, good. So let's break that. Finally have updated the mod. This mod. Uh, we could fabricate a claim. We could justify. Hmm. They didn't have too much trade power, do they? Okay, then we'll just fabricate a claim. And we'll also dissolve this alliance. Oh well, as soon as as soon as it is possible. We don't have an alliance with Saxe book which makes it easier. So let's go ahead and. Fabricate a claim on Lauenburg. Uh, there we go. Off we go, I guess. Let's go with speed 4 for now. So yeah, Denmark is going to be our rival, but we're not going to attack Denmark anytime soon. We have too many diplomatic relations. I think it just makes sense to break Riga because uh, we don't need it. It's just too far away. Oh well, Bremen broke the alliance with us, so good to keep Riga for a while. Although... Let's see who hates Bremen. Who hates on Bremen? Lüneburg, Saxe-Lauenburg. Somebody hates on you? No? Okay. For now, not. Not for now. Mm. Don't think we need relations with the Emperor for now, but maybe we should pick another ally? Landfriedens. What? Landfriedens. Landfriede. Peaceful? Peacefuls? Peacemakers? What is this? I ha I'll have to read some on the bohem Bohemian history a little bit more. Five prestige or five? Now let's go with prestige. Prestige gives me trade power, right? So yeah, global trade power. Yeah, it's good. So we have trade trips. We could now we now I could tell them to go home if we are at war. We're gonna do that, just in case. Let's go and protect trade in Lübeck, trade note. Let's take a look at our trade situation. We'll have to take a look at this screen for a, long, for a lot if we want to play a successful Republic, trade Republic game. We have Wien, Lübeck and Frankfurt. So Lübeck is our main node. It is not a terminal trade node. It's going out and in, into Antwerp, but there's, there are not too many nations transferring from this right now. Oh look, it now shows me this, this important stuff right here. This is nice. This is very nice, actually. Order Estuary. Sound tall. Ah, oh, God. We need Zealand. We really need Zealand. So, yeah, Denmark is obviously going to be a rival here. Okay, so... Vien. We are tr collecting. Why are we collecting? We are collecting from trade in Vien. How, many are, how much money are we making? We are making 0.33. And Frankfurt? Are we also co we're also collecting from Frankfurt? What? S oh, 
Oh, I see. So you cannot. Ah, you can't transfer trade power any anymore. Just to send merchant to transfer trade. Instead, you can only send him to collect. Ah, transport point three five forward. So, ah, I see. All right, so. Apparently, you can no longer collect in your in any other nodes you have power in, right? If you don't, you don't, you're not presented in their choice anymore. Uh, oh wait, wait, wait! You are. What the hell's going on here? Transfer trade. He's transferring trade from Vien and transfer. Tra <laughs> Why the hell? They told me he's collecting. They're collecting from tra from trade there. That is very weird. Also, why? Am I crazy? This is the same guy. What the hell? Reynada. Lubeck. Ah, what's going on? Okay, you know what? No, it says that it's alright, but... Okay, let's go, let's get a guide by, the, by here. Okay, so here this guy's transferring, this guy collecting, and this guy's transferring. Okay, so they're working fine. Alright. So disregard then. Everything is working as usual. Lubeck trade node is very big. I think it used to be a little bit different though. So I, I don't think this this one used to be in it, but I, now it is. So that's nice. The Bal Baltic Sea trade. No yeah, the trade nodes are a little bit tweaked. North Sea. Oh, all right. So this is still part of the North, North Sea trade now. They just moved it visually here. Okay, nice. Okay, 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 okay good. All right. Let's just uh, let the let the time tick again, shall we? Yeah, I don't think we need this alliance with Riga. Riga is so far away. They rev they love this alliance, of course, and I I like it too. But do I need it? Is the question. And now, as soon as one of these guys gets discovered, I think I'm just going to cancel the, another one because I can't afford to have to, to get too much AE already. And the sound toll. This is a nice mission to take, and it is a flavor mission. So, controlling the two pieces of land by sea divided should not imply control of a trade that passes between and through them. Flatter and woo them, or raise their cities and salt the earth. Either way, our trade shall flow freely from the Baltic through the Katagat. So we need to control Skane, and we need to control the Sjelen, these two provinces. The problem is that Denmark has Sjelen as a capital. Then, uh, it is the capital of Sjelen. Oh, what? Sjelen is the capital of Denmark, so it's not good. It's not really good. Thankfully, uh, what, what I'm hoping for is that the, person, the relations between Sweden Norway and Denmark break apart so that um, he loses his personal unions. So that would be nice. If Sweden, for, for instance, declares a war for independence already, hmm, we might support their independence. Ah, oh, damn it. One of, the, one of the diplomats got discovered. So this one, this one got discovered. But this one, uh, dicks. How much AE did we get? So we get six. Eighteen. Wants your provinces minus forty-one. So yeah, there's a new modifier now called desires provinces or something like that. I'm not sure how this how it works. For example, this guy wants Hamburg and Bremen. For on for what reason? Maybe that's because they're his. They're his culture. I know not, but he does want them. This guy wants Bremen. Yeah, well, okay, that makes sense, at least. Chris expansion is going to ruin this thing. Um, is anyone rivaling these little s states here? Denmark is not getting war. Denmark is not rivaled by anyone just yet. That sucks. Hmm. I think we've been recording for like 12 minutes, right? Yeah, for 15 minutes. Okay, good. So now we have our, our CB versus Bremen, and we have our CB versus Saxe-Lauenburg. And 
Saxelauenburg is easier to take, so let's go and take Saxelauenburg. Ah, good! So now you can choose which allies you want to call in. That's really good. Since it's going to be an easy war, I think we should just not call anybody in it. We'll, we'll deal with them personally. I will control this personally. Let's uh, let the Gottschalk Amsink lead the troops. It's not, it's not that we can we we need to get we need to be worried or something. We could get Adler von Lübeck, but I think we'll wait on taking this decision until we end up at, in conflict with some important guys like Denmark, for instance. I think we'll vassalize these guys instead of conquering them. At first, this is a, an efficient strategy. Are we allies with Mecklenburg? No. But they are allies with Bremen. And Teutons. Teutons are far away. And I think as soon as they will get involved into war with Poland, it will be a prime time to attack. And really make sure they're not get they're not gonna get involved into this conflict. Okay, don't go don't go home now. Don't go home at war for now. Right now we have a large, large fleet, so we don't have to worry about this. At least I don't think we have to. Let's uh, since we're not since we're gonna convert to another religion anyway, I don't think it's gonna bother us too much, but let's try and go for this guy. Just go vote for the middle guy. Oh we got him, good. That's really nice. The trial. Ooh, snap. My most noble Stadthalter, your eldest son is on trial for corruption and bribery. There is no doubt that if the charges are true, the conviction of your eldest son would be a serious personal blow to you. On the other hand, we could of course interfere in the trial and secure his innocence. We don't need Republican tradition right now, so I guess we'll lose him. We'll lose it. See him acquitted. Oh? Noble rebels. That's not good. Yeah, you can have access. So apparently Bremen is at war with Brunswick. Good. Good. What's this war? Munster conquest of East Frisia. Hmm. East Frisia is not a part of HRE, by the way. There's a weird, there's a weird history behind it, and... Yeah. It was liberated from Rebel Alliance occupation. No information on not on the on leaving the empire, but it did leave the empire. I know that for sure. So apparently Hungary got an event for Regent Janos. Janos. Yeah, same dynasty with Austria. So that's that's an event for Hungary. It's boring. Mm -hmm. Boring, boring, boring. Looks like Sweden is at war. Oh, Denmark is at war. Denmark is fighting Livonians in the Danish conquest of Ozil. So that was his mission and he is now going for it. Ozil is a claim of Denmark. Interesting. Conquer Ozil. Hm. Of course Denmark is going to try to make the best use of his personal unions while he still can. And I would. Let's detach a siege and just leave. Yeah. We don't need to suffer too much attrition, do we? Now, we could backstab Bremen. Oh, that's very really nice. See, we, we lost control of the Cardinal, we got control of him back. Very nice. If we had enough power, we could just select all of these, uh, tick all of these, and it, it would make sure we could have control of all of them. Alright, so this, uh,. Has long time rivals plus seven plus three yearly. Declared war in Saxelauenburg. So this this thing increases as we do aggressive stuff. Ah, uh, let's see. Magdeburg declared war in Anhalt. Magdeburg is our ally. Allied with Hesse and Lüneburg. It is going to break our alliance with uh, Magdeburg, but I think... Uh, sorry, not Magdeburg. Lüneburg. 
but it might be useful. Let's let's go ahead and uh, just say yes. I'm not going to involve too much in the war itself. I'm just going to make sure that our siege is secure here. Let's try and send diplomat towards Bohemia. Bohemia is a good ally for the Protestants, because this is one of the first nations that usually gets converted. Okay, so this siege, I, I assume, is about to be over. Novgorod has declared war? Novgorod exists? Muscovy, oh, Muscovy decided to go for Kazan first. Interesting, interesting. So this gives time for Novgorod to, to conquer some little guys like Tver. Yeah. That's curious. That's curious. Curious, curious, curious. Come on. Come on. Hanseatic. Oh, the, there's also a new a new modifier for the siege is called the siege ability. So basically it is um your army tradition divided by uh, divided by two and then by another hundred so yeah well roughly roughly this number doesn't really show you full so I, I'd assume it's like 0. 0.65 and then we have war exhaustion as well from attrition right yes I'm from attrition let's move out we don't want too much war exhaustion I think that sh this number should go down Yeah, now we're getting much, much less war exhaustion. That's good. Good, good, good. We don't, we don't need too much. This might be a good opportunity for us to get some stuff. Uh, who is the war leader? Anhalt is. Uh, it looks like the coalition of allies is failing right now. Although, no, 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 they're fighting in Hesse. Okay. So we, we got our Saxalauenborg. Could and. Oh, it looks looks like you can't do anything else to him if you vassalize him. What? Oh, now it shows it here too. Okay, that's nice. Give me 75 gold you have. <laughs> Aggressive act will upset other countries by a base of plus 7.8. This is not too much. I think we could we, I think we can take it. Yeah, I think we can take it. Let's go ahead and uh, agree with this. So now we have a little bridge to walk through here. Bremen is still at war with this, with these people. These people. We should go ahead and declare war in Mecklenburg, though. Yeah, so t Teutons are now at war. Teutons are in the multiple engaged in the multiple conflicts. Which gives me an opportunity to go ahead and attack you. Because we, I want to attack you. I, c I would attack Bremen if I could, but Bremen is allied to Magdeburg, Mecklenburg, Münster, and I'd, I'd rather just fight Mecklenburg and Bremen. I don't want to fight Magdeburg and Münster too, so yeah. Uh, we still have four out of four diplomatic relations. Oh, that's because of, it, of, of my vassal. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. Of course, of course. We could get an alliance. We'd most likely accept if we didn't... Oh, okay, so Magdeburg annexed Anhalt. No, wait. Anhalt annexed Magdeburg. <laughs> oh, that's a weird turn of events. So now we did lose a diplomatic relationship. But we need Bohemia. We need Bohemia. We need his huge... Hugeness. <laughs> to come and help me. Okay. So we are fabricating this claim. That's good. Anyway, guys, I think I'm going to stop recording here. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and possibly subscribe to my channel for videos like this. I'll see you again next time, and as always, have a good day.